what's good tarot tribe it's the priest and i'm back with another pick a card reading in today's reading we are going to be focusing on messages from your future self regarding your love life so i'm going to be connecting directly with a version of you in the future that is already connected with your true love your true life partner and is also going to be divine guidance from your angels okay I i'm even he hearing cupid all right i'm even channeling songs so each deck is going to have a specific energy deck one two three and four each deck is going to present a different energy based on where you are is what i'm picking up so whatever deck you choose is going to be specific to you it is not by coincidence it's going to be exactly whatever it is that you need to hear regarding your love life that will bring you peace and harmony last but not least if you guys are new don't forget to subscribe to the channel if you guys are also looking for any Thing i have going on you can find that in the description box down below we're gonna hop into today's reading and see what divine guidance is here for you regarding your love life all right so we have four different decks you can choose from deck number one deck number two three and four all right let's see if you guys chose deck number one this is your reading and divine guidance from your future self and already i'm picking up messages i'm already channeling a lot of messages for you so the overall theme for where you are in your love life right now out of all four decks was the eight of cups okay so if you guys do decide to watch any of the other readings you will see that each deck seems to be representing a journey in your love life based on where you are and for you deck number one you were drawn to the eight of cups which is usually movement away or movement towards something new um, this is also again just a journey a quest that you're on Okay, it might even feel like a quest that you didn't predict or didn't feel like was going to happen. Like this could be an unknown situation or something that you had to leave behind, a person, a place or a situation. All right. So you are definitely on this journey of discovering. I also feel like you're going through this transformation. And this has to do with your self-esteem. All right. This has to do with feeling confident to speak. We have a lot of blue here um, uh, to communicate your emotions. It's very important that the person that you're with even understands that emotionally. But first, you are even getting to understand that about yourself right now. Okay, so there is a, a huge transformation that you're going through. You haven't even discovered the full you yet, the full greatness of you. And once you do, you're going to start feeling that self-esteem and that confidence start coming back to you. Okay, there has somehow been a, a loss of self. Okay, forgetting who one is. Okay, so this is a quest of getting back to yourself is what I'm sensing with the Eight of Cups here. It is a journey and you're going towards the Ten of Cups, which is ultimate fulfillment in your relationships, but you're at the eight. Okay, so think of it like 80% out of 100 for all of you earth signs. All right, you're like right there. However, it just seems like this quest is playing a very important role into whoever it is that you are attracting in your life if you haven't already okay so the love guidance from your future self be authentic it's exactly what i'm feeling okay i'm definitely sensing that this is about finding yourself being real okay so that you so that your actual partner whoever that may be can recognize you Okay, because there is more to you that you haven't even discovered. And the more you discover it, again, it is this high rush of self-esteem that is just boosting you. It says, be real and true to who you are and how you feel. So there is more of an emotional connection that you're learning with yourself, understanding yourself more so that when you're in relationships, that you can communicate your wants, your desires. Okay, that's really what's coming up, but it's very important that you're authentic. Okay, there's something about you that is very graceful that maybe you are still even acknowledging uh, within yourself. But there's something about you that's very authentic that makes you stand out. And the more you hone into that, the more likely you're going to attract the right person for you. Now, as far as what you're going through right now, I just want to get some of this. Okay, we have the Eight of Wands. Okay, so I definitely feel like you could have been going through a situation or maybe uh you're just now getting into a situation either way it is a journey here because i have the eight of wands the hangman 
I also have the death. Okay, yeah, so it could be, you could be a Scorpio, you could be dealing with the Scorpio, you don't have to be. But what I'm really sensing for you is that whatever this relationship that you are either currently still on the fence about or a relationship that has ended, it's either or for those of you, if you're resonating with this, of course, because of the Eight of Cups, there is something that you learned from that relationship that was necessary. I'm definitely sensing here. Um, it was a part of your journey to discovering you. It was a catalyst to discovering you. It played a role. Um, there were no mistakes. So if you have regrets, you can release them. Okay, so that again, this is about receiving unconditional love, being open to receiving unconditional love. You are desiring this. You are desiring to be yourself around someone and not have to change and not have to watch what you say, watch what you do, but just genuinely speak and, and uh, be felt, be recognized. There is a specific person, <laughs> yes, a specific person. Okay, now don't go putting a space or a name on it, but whoever this person is that is meant for you, they are meant for you. Like it is a journey to discovering this, this person. So all of these relationships or the one that you are currently dealing with, your future self wants you to know that it was for a reason. It was necessary to have no regrets, to, to take what you've learned and see it from a different perspective. Okay, go ahead and clarify this hangman for my deck ones. All right, so we have a lot going on here. All right, we have the king of pentacles we have the higher font some of you guys some could be married some of you guys could be going through a divorce going through a loss and again take it how it resonates it could feel like a relationship that felt like marriage or you could have lived with this person whatever this relationship was it is supposed to be leading you back to you it, it's supposed to be re redirecting you back to you all right so we have taurus energy on the board here we also have the king of pentacles. You're, some of you are learning how to be self-sufficient because your sufficiency is also what's attracting your relationships. So if you feel that you are lacking in something, that lack is being highlighted and you're attracting people who are feeling that lack, filling it, but you're learning to fill it for your own, not to depend on anybody else. Okay, not even financially, security, living with any type of dependency. You're learning how to have control or authority over your own life. Everything that you've been through has taught you so much, but you're learning to let go and to trust. Okay, so this, this is definitely a, a serious commitment that either you're still dealing with or, or that you guys are starting to evolve or trying to evolve with or you guys have let go of. All right. So we have the four of swords here and we also have the eight of cups twice. These are the breakup cards. I can't make it up if I wanted to eight of cups. Okay. It, it's like not being afraid to, um, go the unknown, not being afraid to start all over, <laughs> um, not being afraid to embrace yourself fully, to love yourself fully. It is a different type of love that I'm picking up. Okay you deck number one you have a life partner okay and i feel that you feel this okay this is a very specific person like i said originally you feel you're gonna feel very connected to this person but for some reason you're getting bits of this this person in others but not the whole thing okay so some of you have a a huge decision to make when it comes to your love life and you have to be honest that's what i'm hearing you have to be honest with you because this is your life, but you have to be honest with you, says your future self. Love is all around you, okay? So love is just not in a person, not in a relationship. You are even understanding what that word means, love. People literally 60, 70 years old and still do not understand what love is. Love has nothing to do with the person, just like peace. It's like, I'm, I'm in peace with you, you know? That's like, I'm in love with you, but our perspective is that, oh, it has to come or it's coming from, or I'm feeling it the most when I'm with, you are learning to find this in you. And the reason being is because when you find it in you, you will therefore attract others who find it in themselves and are whole and complete because that's what you're desiring. 
okay? Someone who is whole, someone who is healed, someone who is complete, someone who is gentle, someone who wants to communicate, someone who is compassion, compassionate. There is love everywhere all the time. Simply acknowledge this as truth. So spirit is almost like trying to show you love in other aspects, but, but you've been focused on receiving it in, in various, only various limited ways, okay? Let yourself sparkle and shine. You are guided to be bold and show your bigger than life side to the world. Some of you, it's like you're waking up, your dream is at the door, your desires are here, your passions are here. So understand that love is even in something that you're able to experience and do, like an activity or a project or a purpose. There is love that could be, it's like you have this force of energy called love and you're just exercising it in one place. And spirit is really trying to direct you to see that love is all around you. Love is, love is when you're being yourself. Love is when you're authentic and you're real and you're you and you don't have to think about it. It just flows and the people around you reciprocate that. But you first have to do that, accept and love yourself for others to do that. Okay, and I know this is becoming a life coaching session, but I just want you to know that there is a reason why you're going through what you have went through. You, once self-love is learned, there is no other lesson that you will ever have to learn. Deck one. If you chose this deck, I'm talking to you specifically. There is no other lesson, okay? But look at this. It's like a push and a pull, like it's, it's draining, okay? Some of these relationships have been draining, expressing oneself and trying to fulfill one's desires because they're not happy and you're not, and it's like nobody is looking within here. All right, let me see what else is here. Deep emotional healing, that's what I'm saying. Okay, you have to trust that you are loved, that you are being guided by a bigger force of love than what you see love as. You're being asked to change your perspective with the hangman here so that you can receive love in different areas of your life, in your purpose, in your passion. Do you understand how amazing it is to have love in something that can never leave? Because it is you. And sometimes we think we get that through children, but that's not the case. Because, you know, they go off and they live their life for, for those of you who are parents. Okay, because I'm definitely picking up some of you could definitely be parents. But imagine having this love for yourself who can never leave. Imagine having this love for your passion and a purpose who, that can never forsake you. It always brings joy and fulfillment. Spirit is trying to, like, put this relationship door of love. Like, you keep getting it from the, the stimulating your love life in relationships love in general and there are other forms of love that you could be receiving see love is way bigger than what you're thinking love life i can't i can't make it up i should have shuffled on on camera so you guys can see but i haven't seen the only card i did see was this one love life new and renewed romantic love is here for you that's what i'm saying so yes you're going through a rebirth in your love life you're basically i'm here to tell you to let go let go of what has happened if you have to force it if you have to make it work, think about that. Making it work. That sounds exhausting. Spirit says you deserve better. You don't have to make something work. Do you have to make yourself love that plate of food you're about to eat? No. Love is easy. Think about that. Love is easy. It's effortless. It feels good. It's so natural. Just like how you love food. It's no different. So there is a renewed version of love coming in, not, not just, you know, because of what you've been through, but also because of you being a renewed person. And this renewed person of you is no longer attracting people who are dependent on you. And, and you may not even see the dependency because it's a very, it's almost like maybe like a, an a, emotional dependency they have with you or, or sometimes they need something from you. It's, it's very strange what they're getting from you. But even this feels draining, okay? And I haven't even looked at the rest of your love life and I'm already, I'm already at the 16, okay. Emperor, we have Aries here. Okay, so we do have a father figure here. Some of you guys can't have children with the specific person um, that is here that you're being asked to just trust and and understand that it is meant to be easy. Your love, 
life is meant to be easy that is what your future self saying your love life in the future i'm gonna have to pull those cards i'm gonna have to pull that yeah <laughs> okay cool knight of cups so yeah your love life in the future right here it is very promising it is very different from what you've experienced okay just to be able to prepare yourself for this is going to be something that's going to require a new mindset a new way of thinking a new way of seeing because i do see that somebody is coming in we have the knight of cups this is also the knight in shining armor this is somebody who is taking action towards you all right and we do also have an emperor so i do feel like you are learning how to place people in your life that you love you're understanding you don't have to cut people off they can have a different role and still be a part like there's a reality what your future self is saying where everything works out start to focus on that so what your future whoever this person is they're coming up as like a water sign they can have mainly water on their chart they don't have to but again very compassionate very gentle very kind you know they still have masculine energy but i do see that they are open to embracing um even that version of you being feminine and allowing you to also be masculine so um this person is very understanding they're very compassionate it is not forceful it's very easy it's light very light is what i'm hearing is the relationship that is meant for you so the more you become the true you the more you're attracting the true you in another version which is this person okay so we have the eight of earth so the eight of pentacles here skilled work is reward rewarded learning all there is to know about love going back to school it's exactly what i feel you're going through a quest you're learning what is love okay i thought this was love oh okay i thought this was love all right this isn't this is literally the journey that you are on right now when it comes to your love life all right so your heart is ready to heal from past experiences and if you are willing to devote energy towards therapeutic care that's crazy because i felt like this was a life coaching session life coaching session get a life coach invest all right i wouldn't say a therapist i would say someone who understands spiritual enlightenment consciousness awareness understands we're not our past understands that we can let that go all right it's a very specific person that spirit is going to lead to you i'm hearing if you're here all right so if you come across someone's page or some motto that really resonates with you follow that see if they have life coaching sessions see if this is something that you can contribute your energy towards because it, the reason why is because it's something you're really desiring and it's something that you're meant to experience is what your future self is saying and in your future you are experiencing true love and in order to be open to that you must be open to letting go of what is not serving that position of true love in your life we also have the king of air brilliant so whoever this person is is brilliant they're very professional diplomatic very smart intuitive um they're an air sign so they're they're stimulating they love conversations whoever it is that you're attracting all right this person has a lot of masculine energy in the sense of coming up as a king which tells me that they are mature which tells me they think before they act at times they are a planner they speak their mind with confidence it says seek out professional advice that's another there you go balance mental and emotional consideration so this is something that your future self feels like if you will already do this some of you maybe have already looked into this or are maybe maybe felt this in your spirit this is just confirmation that spirit is saying that you are going to attract someone who is going to help you get out of your head and more into your heart but understanding what true love really is so if you guys chose deck number one this is your reading and advice from your future self regarding your love life i hope that this brought you peace and clarity and harmony on your love life don't forget to comment down below subscribe i will see you in the future if you guys chose deck number two this is your reading from your future self about your love life so let's see what your overall energy is for deck two all right so if you guys chose deck two the overall energy is the seven of pentacles which also represents patience progress which maybe you have been hearing a lot of patience patience allowing now something else that's coming up for you deck number two is that 
patience is not waiting okay because waiting doesn't feel good it's like oh i'm waiting waiting for this person when are they going to get here we see that the time is here the time is warped spirit is saying your future self is saying there is no such thing as time okay understand that love surpasses time in space that you are already with this person in spirit so if you guys chose deck number two you are definitely could be very intuitive um could be watching a lot of readings or just highly sensitive to energy in this time because the type of channeling messages that i'm picking up for you are probably going to be messages that you haven't really heard okay this is uh beyond tarot okay this is understanding energy and the way that energy is working so back to the time there is no such thing as time you are already with this person okay however when you focus on it it is you giving off a vibration that you are not with this person and in return actually resist them from coming so you have to let go of time when how etc okay because all that's doing is prolonging what i'm hearing prolonging the process also patience with yourself okay during whatever your transformation is currently because i feel like you are also going through a transformation so you could have even resonated with deck three or or deck four okay you are definitely going through a transformation let's see what the overall energy is from your guides relationship patterns it takes strength to recognize the need for change. So deck number two, congratulations, you've come very far. It has been a journey. <laughs> Hasn't it been a journey? Two, two, two on the clock. You may have even found true love in yourself recently, uh, more than you thought you could have. There is a very, very deep love that I'm sensing you will have for yourself. And this love is so deep that it's almost like spirits like send in a partner because it's overwhelming. And that's how you know when you're ready for a partner. So if that should answer your question, if you haven't already, it doesn't matter if you're in a relationship or not. You are probably breaking generational curses in your family. You are probably gonna be doing things differently, seeing relationships differently. You guys could be very experimental when it comes to relationships or just open, fluid, just open to love. And that is a very good place to be. I feel like maybe you guys have been there for some time because we have the seven of pentacles, we'll get into that. However, you are breaking karmic patterns, okay? Not just staying in a relationship for the kids or staying because we got married. No, you are breaking, you are truly saying, if this does not bring me love or, or reciprocate that, if this is not a good feeling of a relationship, it's just simply not for me. It doesn't matter what condition there is. Love supersedes condition. Okay, so you're learning to trust your heart and trust that feeling and not settling. All right, not settling for the one who's who's almost the one. Okay, I'm um, see. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> you are going to be rewarded with such a beautiful life partner if you haven't already. Okay, this person, this love life that you're going to have is going to feel different from any relationship anyone has ever seen your love life might just inspire others because what you actually went through the patterns and broke them some people don't they just settle once again because of a condition and you're like we have these kids already and you know we're already this years old and my days are you know people <laughs> they have different perspectives and i'm just seeing that you with having this free open honest perspective it's leading you right to true love which not many people have experienced even around you we have half patience. That's crazy. So that word says progress, but I said patience earlier. And yes, half patience. Okay. So it's not waiting because waiting feels like, you know, it feels really bad. It doesn't feel good. So instead of waiting, it's more so of preparing or try to shift your energy is what your future self is saying, because your person is there. Your future self is saying your person is there. Okay, this is true love that I'm sensing and I can't wait to pick up what that energy may be. But you must have patience. Love is patient and kind. So if you are not in a space of patience or kindness, you are not in a space of love in order to attract it. So what is the rush? 
And on some of you, it's just excitement is what I'm getting. Anxiousness, excitement to see who, who this person could be. Some of you may already know who this person is. Let's see what your other advice is. Self-confidence. Okay, some of you could definitely be... It, you know, some people, you guys could be breaking patterns when it comes to your confidence. Some people, again, not wanting to have to start all over or maybe I'm too old or now I have kids and now I got to go back on that. Like the yellow is standing out a lot, which is all about solar plexus chakra. This is about your confidence. So self-confidence through God. Believe in yourself by believing in God working through you. You are understanding that your value is God's sense. So whoever it is that you are attracting, if you have not already, is going to literally resemble that. This person is also going to resemble that God sense of energy. They're going to be a one of a kind. Think about yourself and how hard you may be to find. Okay, so don't try to find this person is what I'm hearing because you've already found them in you. The more you know you, the more you will recognize them. But you must know yourself. And, and the more you know yourself, the more confidence you're bringing. And again, that's why I feel like you're deck number two. Deck number one, they are still kind of, they, they are getting ready to be where you're at. They are trying to leave what you left. Like you were brave enough to leave it. You were brave enough to break the patterns. You were brave enough to say, no, I know there's more. There's true love. I know that, that there's got to be more. And that is your higher self, your future self that's leading you to a true partner let's look at your tarot and see what your you guys only had three cards that came out i mean your future self is very very clear on on the advice for your love life ace of cups you are going to be meeting someone very soon here with the ace of cups so this is an offer i mean they're literally falling asleep on each other they're they're together they're melted together they are in sync with the, they are one see again this is a deep message but understand that you are looking for you but you want to attract a high version of you not a perfect version okay not perfect to the ego but who are you are you living the life that's true to you or are you just settling because of this this and that all of it plays a part in the expression of you the more true you are to you the more you will attract this person again they are literally one they they become one literally i can't explain this um, in a different sense, but it is like they're so identical, they are one. And I'm not talking about their hair color. I'm not talking about that. I'm glad they don't have the same hair color because people think, oh, yeah, we're so much alike. We have the same characteristic traits and we have the same this and this and Zodiac has nothing to do with this. You are you are attracting a connection that is very deep. OK, it is not surface level. This is the cup. So this means we're going deep. Okay, you guys are going to be able to discover things together. You'll be able to travel and explore things together. You'll be able to see the world together. It is like a, another you. It's like a clone of you in another person. Okay, it's so divine. Three of cups is good. What it is. Whoa. All right. That's that's some crazy energy right there. That's all I'm gonna say. We got a we got Aquarius energy on the board, so I already know it's gonna be crazy intense sexual energy. Whoever you're attracting, there's a lot of fun with this person. There's a lot of celebration. Um, this see, this is the thing. You're not this person in you when you're together. Your future self is saying there is no talk about lack and what we don't have and what we do. You guys are stars. It's written in the stars is what I'm hearing for you to be with this person. It's they're the one you are being led to the one, which is you in another. Okay. Wow. This is deep. <laughs> this connection is like, it's beyond intimacy. You are connecting on a soul level. You are connecting, intertwining spiritually uh a lot of your intimacy with one another isn't even really sexual but it feels more intense than sexual energy it's written in the stars it's divine for you to meet this person you will it's going to feel like you've been waiting forever to meet this person okay they could be aquarius you don't have to be you guys are both dreamers all right, this person is going to be very specific, very unique, okay, which is why you cannot just be with anybody. 
can't just be out here with anybody okay there is no patterns this this person is literally on earth to enjoy they 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 will be in a period of their life you will be in a period of celebration which is why there's so much pleasure you guys feel like you're going to be inseparable okay is what your your future self is saying you're already together you already feel this energy even now as i'm explaining it to you if it feels good to you if it feels warming that's confirmation and only you can feel that Okay, so it's very specific, the message that you're getting here. Um, there is a celebration that you're going to have whenever you meet this person, the intimacy, the passion. It's very intense. It's explosive, but it is also very homey, very safe. Um, this is the perfect match for you. Answered prayers. Yeah, it's like it's crazy. All your great work has opened the door for divine solutions and support. So yes. So basically it's like, yes, you were right. You were right about self-love. You were right that you deserved better. You were right that that relationship wasn't for you. And even if you're still struggling, you're still right to know that there is someone that is on the same frequency as you. And you guys are inseparable. This person is a star. They take care of themselves. Okay. They, they care about like it's not from a place of arrogance it's more so of just really taking good care of themselves so just imagine your energy so you both are matching each other's energy and it is paying off we have a lot of green here which is the heart chakra so you are opening up to love opening up softening your heart to love and to have patience okay the chariot cancer energy definitely lots of water energy deep Pisces energy I mean their moon sign could be Pisces Cancer Scorpio very deep deep energy like even with the sexual energy it's deep so the chariot an important achievement self-discipline and willpower public recognition so <laughs> once again whoever whoever this person is that you're attracting already or is on their way to having public recognition which is why you are also on your way to public recognition even if you don't have it now once you meet this person and you're seen with them or people hear about it boom you become your life becomes theirs you are stars there's public recognition for you i also see for you to stand out it's like there's many stars but you're my star like that's what i'm hearing <laughs> oh you guys got me over here on my feelings see this is why these love readings mm. wow it's it's like it's not something that could be described okay it's it's something that seems too good to be true it's almost like you're gonna feel like how did i not like this exists that's how you're gonna feel this exists this this connection exists i've never seen it before i've never felt anything like this i've never seen it on the movies i've never felt it in a music song it is it is indescribable okay and even me you know me i'm never really lost for words all right, so we have the moon card. So I'm hearing that you could be the sun. You could, you, they could be the sun to your moon. You, could, they could be the moon to your sun. Yin and yang. This is a twin flame uh, connection. It's it, it's a specific once again connection you came here to experience. So so if you're finding yourself detaching or having to detach from other things you'll ha you'll know exactly why when you meet this person if you don't already with this reading. Release fears that hold you back important psychic insights events behind the scenes so your angels your ancestors are working behind the scenes to bring this connection together because why obviously some there must be a greater reason the stars for you guys to align okay and we have the knight of pentacles and i truly feel like whatever this reason is for you guys to collide it benefits the people around you it benefits others for you guys to be together so that's usually what a twin flame relationship is and obviously we have so many definitions of that nowadays but this person it is there is a purpose for this connection it's very purposeful so you will be receiving psychic insights now more than ever probably within the next seven months specifically regarding this person that you are attracting Okay, so this is a relationship that's coming in. You might even know who this person is. And honestly, it doesn't even matter if they're in a connection or not. 
And I know that's crazy to say, but whatever is divine and meant to be will align. It, it is just the desires too strong. You guys are two bouncing atoms that just desire to be together. Therefore, it is impossible for, for you not to be. So spirit is saying in the meantime, relax and chill because it's already going to happen. Okay. So now that you know that, what can you be doing in the meantime? Get excited. So it's almost like you're getting ready for a, a, wow, a wedding. Yeah. Some of you guys may be getting ready for a wedding, but I'm feeling like you're getting ready for an event. It's like, you don't just sit and wait six months until the event comes like, okay, I'll just sit here until the event comes. No, you prepare yourself for the event. You prepare. So uh, get ready is what I'm hearing for whoever this person is. And the most important thing is that you have the confidence to be yourself and um, understand that you have already healed from relationship patterns. There's, there's no fears that you need to worry about. Any doubts that you may be feeling that come up is just simply residue from what you've left behind. So this person is coming in slowly. We have the Knight of Pentacles. So you might start with a a good foundation of just like doing things together, being active together. Um, but somebody has a cape on and I definitely feel like it's either you or them. And I, I feel like that's how you will feel when you guys meet. So it is destined to be together. The stars, you guys are both stars. It's aligned. This is a wish come true. This is something that only happens to those who truly believe. So we can't wait to hear your success story when you come back and tell us and share us. Share with us down below in the comments. The more testimonies, the more love stories you will start to see happening in this world. True love exists, and I feel like you might be a witness to it. All right, moving on to deck three. If you guys chose deck number three, this is your reading from your future self regarding your love life. So the overall theme for you, deck three, is the emperor. So we have Aries energy, sovereignty. So if you guys were drawn to deck three, I feel like you are in a space in your love life where you are literally, you met the one or you're about to meet the one. Okay. So deck three was giving me that vibe, the emperor. So you guys could be on your way to attracting this empress or emperor, depending on what it is that you're looking to uh, manifest in your life. I'm definitely seeing that you're becoming more in control and more authority of your life. Okay, so wherever it is that you're heading, your dreams are also coming true. Okay, so whoever it is that you're attracting, they are also an emperor too. So they have a lot of balance when it comes to their feminine and their masculine energy. You are coming up as someone who is very independent, um, may not even feel like you need a relationship at times. And so Whoever it is that you are attracting, it's almost causing you to have to be vulnerable and open and soft in order to receive this person. So it says express love through gifts. So whoever this person is, is going to be matching your energy when it comes to financially. Again, I feel like you are, it's like when I say you're right there, you're either crossing the, the finish line, you're crossing the finish line right now, or you have already crossed it if you are here. And what that finish line means is your dreams. So financial freedom I see is here. You having your dreams, you're coming up as an emperor and it's a woman. So it's like you are on your shiznits, okay? You are doing what you gotta do. You are a boss, you're in control, you're a CEO. You might even have your own business or you could be a director or you could be just very, again, masculine as a woman. Doesn't matter if what you are, but again, your energy is masculine in a sense of independence. I can do it myself. I can figure it out, which is beautiful to the right person. I do see that many people could have been intimidated, especially if you date men, okay? There could be a lot of intimidation there because, hey, I'm supposed to be the man and you're over here carrying this, doing this. So you're learning how to be in your feminine, but you, deck three, have to feel confident enough to even submit or or be led, okay? Because you're such a dominant, like strong person in the sense of powerful, accomplished. And again, like I said, with the finish line, either you're right at the finish line or this is the perspective people have of you and you might not see it. Those of you who are aware of it, you know. You know who you are. You're that person. So whoever comes 
has to come there. So your future self is saying this person, man, it's like they're going to have you in your child energy because you might be serious. You might have to be because of work and all these things. But this person is going to put you in your youthful energy like you will be playing more than you've ever played. And it's like you've maybe you've had to be serious and strong. And again, this person is strong. They're masculine. They're confident. They're not like, oh, I'm this masculine macho person. Whoever it is that you're meant to be with is who I'm talking about. This is your life partner. This is y'all right here. Guy, girl, doesn't even matter. This is you guys. All right. And it's like a very childlike energy. This person is also very financially giving because they are even giving you, it looks like a rare, a rare pearl. They see you as a one of a kind. You guys are both two rare jewels that basically found each other is what your future self is telling you the story of your love story, basically. And this person loves to give you gifts, but it's like you love gifts. You love receiving things. You love when people express their love for you. But this is a different type of love that you've never felt in the sense of, I didn't realize I can feel love in this area. I didn't realize I can feel love in this area. So this is a specific person that you may even overlook. Or or maybe if they don't didn't approach you, because that's how you know it's going to be meant to be. You would have been like, wow, I never actually would have even talked to you if you wouldn't have done this or if this never would have happened. Like, it's one of those things. Don't worry. You can never not meet each other. Like, you guys are destined to meet each other. But I'm just sensing that that's been the case with your relationships truly is finding someone who is in their, their emperor energy, their masculine energy, and is confident and doesn't take advantage of it, but actually knows what that means to be masculine. Okay, so there's a lot of inner energy here that's coming through with empress and emperor energy and masculine and feminine. But again, people don't know the truth of what these terms mean. Okay, it's all energy. And you actually desire to be chilled and nurtured and loved on and, 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 and being able to like let go of having to do it. Right, because you've been having to be independent. You've been having to do these things for so long. You want, you, it's not like that you want to, it's just become, it's who you've become because you've had to, but that is not who you are. That's what you're learning is like, there is a part of you that wants to let someone else take the wheel and you can kind of just relax and trust that you'll get to your destination because you trust that person. That's who you're attracting. Okay. This is a very beautiful soul <laughs> and they and it's crazy because people might even tell them about you like are you sure you want to date this person like are you sure you're ready for this person and they're like man like no i i think he or she is really cool like i can see past all that i can see past that armor i can see past all that is what this person is saying so it's like a real childlike energy and it just makes me really happy very joyful very easy uh, very high school friendly, but the the crazy thing is, is that whoever this person is, they they got money. So just imagine being a kid again. So that's how it's gonna be. It's you, you have to have worked for maybe a lot of things in your life. You don't have to work for this relationship, and in this relationship, there's no work, even in your life, because whatever you guys are doing, it's creating this energy that basically. Um, is self-sufficient financially. I don't even need these cards, but I just feel like, damn, this is a lit relationship that you're attracting. And uh, basically it's just been hard to find because of how dope you are. So a physical touch, damn. So already you guys have two love languages that came up out the whole deck. And so whoever this person is, they're very expressive. Look, they're on their knee. That's what I'm saying. Like. They see you as the princess, which I think a lot of people may have seen you as the princess or maybe seen you as the prince before. But whoever this person is, they adore you. They love to give you gifts. Um, it's just in their gifts. It's crazy. The gifts, the gifts could be Tiffany. The gifts could be Rolex. The gifts could be those type of gifts. And it's still only a small token of the love that they have for you. So the gifts aren't even like, a good expression of the love that this person has for you. I guess your future self for you, Deck 3, really just wants to channel what your relationship is. I think maybe you're losing belief or maybe you're just not sure. And most of this message, this guidance is really like show, let me tell them 
what it is. And if you feel this energy in your heart and you feel it warming you inside, you feel it in your gut and it's true, it resonates, then accept it and understand this person is either you found them or they are on their way. This should bring you peace and confirmation. A tender touch can mean so much. So this person loves to touch you. They love to give you gifts. They adore you. Even though people think that you're like a lot in the sense of like a lot of energy, which is a good thing. Obviously it takes that to be a genius and what you are. Uh, but this person really just loves to, to just show their love to you. Like it's like they're on this mission to show you love any chance they get. <laughs> I love it. Okay, let's see what's going on right now in your love life. All right, we have two of pentacles, queen of cups. Yeah. <laughs> I think that there's going to be a couple of people that might come your way. Here is what your future self is saying. Um, you'll have a couple of options, but you'll know which one the right one is. Um, some of you could definitely be in a same sex situation. So even if you're attracting that, you're attracting someone like you could be very masculine. You're attracting someone who is also balanced in their masculine energy. Like they like to provide, even if they're a girl, they like to give, but they also love to receive gifts. They also love to receive love as well. So that's what I mean by a balanced person. So this Knight of wands, whoever, again, this is movement coming in and the queen of cups. I mean, she's pretty amazing. So I feel like this is your energy. Like it has you in this sappy, soft energy. Even over here, you guys got me and my energy and my feelings over here with this because the queen of cups, she's like the queen of hearts. She's very sensual. She likes to touch. She likes to be, and maybe you've never been like that, but whoever this person is, they're going to have you just literally in your feelings, in your feminine energy, in your compassionate side in your soft side, not having to be strong, in your vulnerable side, in your having you weak, okay? That's what I'm hearing. This person is gonna have you weak on your knees, Knight of Wands. All right, so there's a lot of passion here. They're coming forward. So that's how I know they're coming in. The Knight of Wands is a pretty fast moving card. So that's why I said you're either at the finish line of me, you've either just met this person, about to meet this person, or you've already met them. It's just that simple. And I do think, like I said, there'll be a couple of options, but for the most part, you'll know who this is because even this is what I mean by a man or a person being in their feminine, they're on their knees. Like, that's like, let me submit to you that that's, that's feminine energy. So this person is very balanced, but they're very strong in their energy too. And I think that's also come, shows up in their wallet, shows up in their purse, shows up in their finances. Like that's where their masculine energy is. All right, let's just see five of fire, completing goals, bothersome details, conflict with others. All right, so let's see. This is your divine advice. Ten of fire, too much work. See, that's what I was saying. So too much work, not enough pleasure. All right, S accept help from others, meaning not doing it yourself. Life is out of balance. Okay, again, you're learning balance so that when you meet this person, you're right for this person as well. Because spirit is also sending in their, spirit is also sending in this person, meaning spirit, universe, God, whatever you believe loves both of you guys. So it's not gonna send this person in just because of, oh, I'm gonna, do, I'm gonna send them in because you're ready, even though you're not ready. Like, no, spirit will never do that. It will only be divine. So what your future self is saying right now, what, what is the issue? What is the conflict in the way is you have a lot of fire energy. All right. It's, it's been a lot about your finances. You guys could be a Taurus. You could be a Virgo. You could be a Capricorn like myself. I'm a Cappy, but you don't have to be. And the reason why I bring that up is because you could have been focused so much on your work so much on once again, providing for yourself or for family, for others there, there were a lot of goals or maybe achievements that you have in your life. And that's great energy. That is also, by the way, masculine energy. You have a lot of that because you're meant to be a leader. Um, but now it's like, can you be open to being soft? And are you open to receiving? Are you going to be open to slowing down and let someone, someone else take the wheel? Will you be able to trust? I mean, they're both on the horse and this person's eyes are closed. They just trust the direction. Are you able to trust and let things flow? Okay, I also see that there's still some 
conflict that you may have with others that you're transmuting i feel like it's energy in your heart chakra with the green energy coming up here all right this is going to help you with your creative endeavors is what i'm hearing as well i also feel like you are the king of earth so whoever you are very financially stable meant to be all right uh a successful time confidently accept opportunities you're offered the Midas touch so yeah everything you touch the Midas touch it turns to gold you're meant to be prosperous okay um, you could actually be seen as very responsible again lots of earth energy very practical very generous with your money so whoever it is that you are attracting they are the same and just know they're generous with their money but that's like that's just two drops of love that just represents the two droplets of love that's why I'm expressing that much because they're give, they give a lot of gifts. They give a lot financially, but even that doesn't amount to the other type of love that they're giving you. All right. So you're here to transmute that. Your advice, again, be gentle with yourself. That's crazy. Be open to being gentle. Slow down. Relax. Be open to being led. Even out there, they're, I don't even know what they're doing now. It's just distractions. All right, be open to peace. You've been through a lot. You need time to cover, recover and heal. Give yourself a break. Stress reduction, look at this. De-stress your mind, body and schedule as you need to rest, recharge and revive. Why? Because of everything has to be in your control. In order to attract this person, there will be no control. It'll be out of your control. Therefore, it will benefit you more to be out of con your control to focus only on the imagined reality that you want to manifest and experience here on earth. Just out there, just so many sounds, so many distractions. Okay, you might need to take a vacation for yourself is what I'm hearing for you. Now, overall, what your spirit guides want you to know about your love life, deck three, five of swords, let go of anything that has happened in the past Okay, that has caused you to have trust issues because you do not want to push this person away. All right, that's what I'm getting with the five of swords, overthinking it. This is self-infliction, overthinking it once again, being gentle with yourself, not being hard on yourself, understanding this is all of your energy. And I definitely feel like spirit is trying to transmute that so that you can attract this because with this energy, right so much intensity so much chaos stress right look at these words stress control fire too much work it's like overwhelming right even to hear this hear these words that doesn't feel good and look how good these feel less is even more you can do less and be more successful you can do less and have more energy you can do more and have more energy Okay, so what spirit is saying is like for you to get to this energy, all this has to be transmuted. And how do you transmute it? Let it go. Be aware of some of these things that are coming up. Trust issues, things that have happened in the past, things that may come up so that you can prepare yourself for this person. So if you guys chose deck number three, this is your guidance from your future self regarding your love life. Very beautiful reading. Honestly, I, I think this is more of your love story. And in the meantime, just work on nothing. <laughs> work on not saying work <laughs> how about that so yeah you could definitely be an earth sign but anyways i'm headed out to the last deck deck number four all right if you guys chose deck number four this is your reading for messages from your future self regarding the person that you're attracting but also where you are in your love life okay because i do i am sensing if you guys were drawn to to number four your energy is very strong when it comes to manifesting the person some of you may have already met this person if not some of you are getting ready to receive a message this was the only deck out of all four that i felt this energy okay so just so you know the eight of wands is a message okay so there is going to be incoming communication or insight about this person if you have not met them already we do have gemini energy on the board they don't have to be a gemini but we do have that on the board here Okay, so we have the lover's ultimatum. So I'm definitely sensing that you have either met this person or you are 
getting ready to meet them. And I would say for most of you, by the end of this year, let's see what your guys' tarot looks like, okay? Okay, because the full the moon is here, so it could be unknown. Okay, because it feels very close. Like it feels very, it feels closer than any other deck that I had here. All right, so if you guys were drawn to deck number three, they are almost here, but you are there already, meaning that you are already with this person telepathically. You are already communicating with this person. The moon card is here. You guys are intuitively already connected psychically. The Pisces is here, so they could be a Pisces. They don't have to be very intuitive. All right, so if they're, if they're a man per se, they're very intuitive with their emotions. Okay, if they're women, they're very intuitive when it comes to their masculine energy and their masculine side taking charge. They'll just instinctively have a masculine presence to them if they're a woman that you are seeking. Okay, so we have the five of pentacles here. We have the ace of pentacles and we also have the seven of pentacles. I see that spirit is saying that in the future, your future self is saying that you are in a relationship that is very solid. Okay, it is not based just on the intimacy. This is a long re long lasting relationship that you're that you've either attracted or on the verge of attracting within the next 6 to 8 months. Okay, you got you feel the closest to the person to attracting your true partner, your your desired fulfilled partner that you're seeking right now. Again, this is a timeless reading. So from this moment that you're watching this, whoever this person is, you could even possibly grow old with them is what I'm hearing. It will be a, at least a seven year relationship, at least is what I'm sensing with this person. Okay, let's get some guidance, spiritual path. Your true beliefs are becoming clear to you, which prompts you to make life decisions, abundance. Things look very good. Have patience at this time make long-term plans so future self what is it that you want them to know why is the moon card here they could also be a scorpio okay king of cups all right so yeah you do have a life partner specific for you okay whoo let's go ahead and get one more card because now we have a lot of love energy that's coming up here all right, we have the three of pentacles here. We have the five of cups. All right, so I am f feeling that the guidance here for you is that someone from the past may try to come. And that is also a sign that you are very close to meeting the one. Okay, so if you start to think about someone from the past, I'm telling you also that you already know this person. Like, in the sense of from another lifetime, they are familiar to you. Whoever it is that you're attracting, you will feel very safe with them. Your life partner in the future, you feel very safe with them. They're very generous. They take care of you. They watch out for you. They're a protector. They're a provider. You are their rare jewel is what I'm hearing. They're very gentle with you, very intimate with you. Like it's a very intimate feeling, but it's also just very stable. This isn't someone that you're going to have to worry about if they're cheating. They're very loyal. Like it's, it's like, it would be a, you would laugh if someone said, if, are you ever worried about them cheating? You'd be like, Pff. it's that, that's how much certainty this person has about you. Okay. In your, your future, in your future, your future self is saying, this is your life partner that I'm picking up their energy. Right? So Whoever this person is, they are very in tune with their emotions. Very in tune. You guys will go very deep together. Um, your intimacy, you might not even have to like have sex to feel this connection. It is, it is like that is a strong point in the relationship, but there's a, there's a stronger sense of the relationship that you're going to have with this true life partner, and it's based on spiritual connection. It's based on like feeling their energy. So you'll never have to worry about what you've dealt with in the past. You'll never have to go through what you've went through in the past with this person. Whoever it is that you're attracting, they're very close. The Eight of Wands is the message card. So you could be receiving a message from this person very soon. 
all right so we also have abundance here three of fire so i do see that there's abundance coming in at that time we're going to get some clarity we also have a five of cups like i said you have someone from your past that might try to come rushing in someone that you feel comfortable with someone that you feel very comfortable with like intimately you feel comfortable being yourself whoever this person is they could be coming in or you might get a message or something from them and that is also just a sign or confirmation that your future partner is coming in all right another thing is this person is very in tune with just doing things for you like taking care of you they have a lot of feminine energy in the sense of wanting to nurture you wanting to be compassionate wanting to take their time with you wanting to caress you wanting to literally take their time with you they are very patient you might even feel like okay it's too good to be true which is why you had to go through all that healing all that healing and everything you went through is so that you don't so that you can receive this relationship be in the present and dream of the future when we dream everything is possible so spirit is saying do not focus on your physical reality because that is not where you're going to find this person you everything happens first in our thoughts right even these cards were thought we must think it before it can be tangible so spirit is saying to go to your dream space and connect with this person without the face feel the energy of someone who is compassionate supportive nurturing providing they feel that you are sacred they nurture you they care for you they love to be intimate with you, but half of the time you guys are naked, but you're not doing anything <laughs> like you're just so sensually connected. It's that deep of a connection. The union of hearts. I can't make it up. A love connection defines defies explanation. Exactly. I cannot explain this type of connection. All right. So this is even different from any of the other decks that I picked up. This person has a lot of fatherly energy a lot of taking care of you type of energy those of you who are here you might not if you don't desire to have to work you will not have to work this person will make sure that you have everything that you need but it's more so because they see something in you they see you and they see them in you and you guys are so connected like this is a deep deep union that you guys have here anything else about this union you guys were the only ones who had the lovers as your theme page of yeah so someone's gonna be upset about it look someone's upset you're off in the moonlight getting married you know but this is they're coming up as a oh this is crazy this person from the past is coming up as a page of cups okay a page is a child a knight is like a teenager a king is a king this is who you're attracting and this is the person that's mad like i can't this, this is the person that's upset about this, okay? And it's like, you're attracting a king of cups and he is a page of cups, which means the maturity level. This person could not, cannot fulfill what it is that you are desiring. So yeah, they might peek up, they might come around again. All right, divine intervention. God sends miracles to answer sincere prayers. This is a miracle from this person coming in. So that's all you have to do is know that you deserve it with this yellow. Know that you're worthy, gold, worthy, sovereign. Know that you deserve this. Look at you, you're questioning this. He's on his knees, you're like, um, do I deserve this? That's why they're not here yet. Because that, how is that gonna make that person feel? When, when I wanna give and I just, I wanna want to be with the person who wants to receive. And that's feminine energy, okay? So I'm definitely sensing here, yes, they're very emotionally in tune, like they're gonna listen to you. They literally you guys will talk for this person is your best friend like they're gonna talk to you forever all right release 13 all right so yes you did go through a rebirth or a death um time to move on there's your confirmation the end of a phase or a situation so whatever that situation is that you had to release you had to move on from it was a spiritual transformation so that you can attract this person that's coming in you'll look back and be very thankful that you chose yourself because you are if you haven't already attracted this true love partner 
And again, this is a level of love that you have yet to receive for yourself um, even deeper um, when it comes to just the security. It's a very secure, very stable relationship. That's why I said at least seven years plus. I mean, this is a really, really deep connection that you are attracting in your life. So this is your guys is information and your guidance from your future self regarding your love life i hope that was able to bring you peace and clarity and i can't wait to see what you guys say when you come back don't forget to subscribe i'm out love and light